Okay, so today we're looking at the social studies and level 2019 paper. And again, always look at the issue to frame your thinking. Uh, which issue is this from? This is from issue 3, uh, globalization. Okay, and uh, just to note, please remember that um, the numbers in 2020 uh, SS paper will be changed. It is, um, as you can see, uh, the numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 instead of your common ones that you have in your tenure series A, B, C, D, and E. Um, take a minute to actually look at all the different types of questions that they can ask you, inference, compare contrast, utility, surprise, as well as taking perspective. Now for this question, it talks about um, the Kenyan flower business. Does it actually depend on global air transport? Um, so there'll be sources that says, yes, it depends. There'll be sources that says, no, it does not depend. And if you take your time to read the background information, which you should in every um, exam, um, it does tell you that uh, Kenya is actually a very um, successful uh, country that actually exports um, flowers and you can see from the fact that it is a very big industry all right and uh, the government actually is putting in a lot of money uh, to ensure that the flower industry is thriving okay So there's also concerns about how the flowers um, are actually being transported. So one of the many ways is definitely the use of planes uh, to transport the flowers to specifically uh, and predominantly to Europe um, that is buying the flowers from Kenya. All right, so Kenya is here. They travel, uh, the flowers travel all the way to Europe and even to other parts of the world. So let's take a look at source A. Now source A is a photograph. Um, it shows um, a farm, a rose farm near Nairobi, which is the capital of Kenya. Now from the picture itself, you cannot see anything to do with airplanes or global air transport. But you can see a lot of uh, ladies who are working, um, sorting sort of flowers. And you also see a lot of flowers. So from the question, they ask you, what can you learn from the source about the Kenyan flower business? So things that you can learn and always remember to use the question framing. I can learn that the Kenyan flower business provides jobs um, or requires much manpower. Or you can say that it is a thriving and booming industry because you see that many people are being employed. Uh, so there's a lot of demand uh, for Kenyan flowers and hence they have to hire more people. Now, the next question is source B. It is a compare-contrast question. So always remember when you compare-contrast question, you look at key content, key concepts, or vocab. All right. So if you look very carefully here, um, both sources actually show similarities. The very fact that Europe is the biggest um, importer, that means they buy the most flowers from Kenya. It also tells you that Kenya... Um, will be exposed um, to recession if, let's say, countries that purchase their flowers um, also uh, faces recession. That means they cannot buy the flowers. So these are similarity in terms of concept. But you can even see the word recession here, recession here. So in terms of vocab, they are pretty similar. So always look out for those kind of things when you do compare contrast questions. Now, the differences is from source B, um, it's about the very fact that transport costs makes the flowers affordable and that is why people are buying flowers. Whereas in Saucy, it is about the quality of flowers. So they are different in terms of why uh, the flowers are very popular. All right. So if you look at the answers, both of them are similar because they are dependent on Europe. Um, you can also tell me that the flowers are of business. The Kenyan flower business is at risk from recession in Europe. Now, the differences is in showing the success of the flower industry. That means Kenyan flowers are so popular and so successful, this industry, because um, the flowers are cheap or the flowers 
um, is of high quality. So that is the difference. Now do take a note for this question. There is no similar or differences in purpose because if you look back at the sources, there isn't a very clear audience. And if it's, there's no clear audience, it's actually very hard to pinpoint um, what is the motif or the agenda of the sources. So um, not necessary for compare contrast question to always have a comparing of purpose. Just take note of that. Now the next question is a utility question and it is about how useful is the source as evidence that the flower business is successful and it is successful if you look very carefully um, words such as world class words such as they have recruited and partners experts from all over the world words such as they the government has invested billions of dollars so it does show success. Okay, now for a question that talks about utility, you must make sure that something is useful. Um, you must make sure that your cross-reference that supports the source. So if it's useful, your cross-reference must be useful. If it's not useful, find something that's opposite or you look at purpose. Um, it is very good to actually cross-reference to other sources first because sometimes the purpose is not as clear. Okay, uh, this is just a framing of how you write. Always remember, answer the question. Okay, and make sure that in green, uh, have the what we call the utility statement. So answers would be, all right, it is useful. Um, the very fact that there's a lot of investment and it is true when we cross-reference to background information and you can see the background information, um, a lot of money is invested into this industry. Okay, and this means that um, the source is true or is reliable and thus useful. Make sure that you have the linking statement. Um, it is not useful because it does tell you that the flower industry may not thrive because if you look at source E and if you had read all the sources, you take a look at um, actually uh, in terms of facilities such as roads, uh, there are indicators that actually is not very conducive the roads are not very good so how can you say that it is unsuccessful so hence the source is um, not true and not reliable okay now source e is a surprise question um, it shows here there's a lot of problems in kenya itself you know um, there's a lot of roads that's not connecting to the highways and to the airports um, and there is also a lot of paperwork. So this particular source is surprising, right? Because the very fact that um, there are many sources that actually tells you the success of the flower industry and how come uh, in source E, this particular Kenyan flower grower seems to show that um, the Kenyan flower industry is not thriving, is not successful. Uh, what could be the motif of this particular blogger? Okay, so remember that, you know, if it's a surprise, I'm surprised that it is so negative or is showing a very negative side, then it must be opposite from the original side. Uh, not surprised because of purpose or not surprised because it must support the original source. So your answers can be like this. I'm surprised by source E because the government is not doing anything. Then you give me the source details, you explain the source details, and it is contradicted by something that is opposite. So if here shows that the government is not doing anything, your cross-reference must show that the government is doing something. So the best is you could cross-reference to background information or you could cross-reference to other sources. Uh, it is not surprising. Uh, because in source E, it says that flowers needs to be transported quickly. So if you're just comparing based on content, then choose something that will support the very fact that flowers needs to be transported quickly. And the best is actually in source D because it actually tells you that you need to ensure this freshness uh, about flowers. All right, we go to E question. How far do the sources in the case study show the success depends on global air transport? And if you look very carefully, um, what are the other factors that can contribute to a success um, of the flower industry? So from source A, if you look very carefully, like I told you, there's nothing to talk about uh, global transport. In fact, what it talks about is actually the manpower. The very fact that you need a very good manpower because once you have a good manpower, it means that your workforce or your work industry is very efficient and that is very important as consumers will continue buying and it will give an economic success to um, the industry. Okay, so this is a no. 
um, this does show that it is dependent because if you look very carefully, the executive of the flower council, which is someone who is very important, actually saying that you know, the airport is an important role, um, the direct flight is an important role. So definitely this is important. Uh, global air transport, having direct flights, having airports is very important because uh, it does ensure the freshness of the flowers and it appeals to consumers and when consumers are happy they will continue to buy from Kenya. The next one is Saucy. Now Saucy also shows um, there is success okay it talks uh, it tells you about the 60 destinations right so it does show success uh, for this but it also shows that um, actually the quality of flowers is very important because even though um, the flowers are cheap but if the quality is not good um, there will not be a high demand um, and um, it doesn't matter right um, the very fact that even if there's no global air transport if your quality is good people will still find their means uh, to actually uh, get hold of your products source D actually tells you that um, yes it is very important because there are a lot of technologies that is spent at airport transport terminal. So it shows that global air transport is important. Also, no, because it tells you that um, it is about learning um, and Kenya's partnership with experts and investors worldwide that actually makes the flower industry successful. It is not only because of air transport. All right. And finally, source E, which actually tells you um, it is not really about the global air transport. In fact, it is really about the roads. It is really about uh, reducing this unnecessary paperwork. So actually, the initiative and plans are made by the Kenyan government and it has nothing to do with global air transport, which means that the success of the flower industry depends on the government in trying to improve facilities so that um, the industry is successful. Um, it is not dependent on the air transport. Okay, so I hope um, the unpacking of these sources will give you a better understanding of how to do your e-question and other skills.